Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 22, D flat 4 1 tritonic. In today's episode, we sought to finish tweaking our 2772 composition and remake the energy diagram and music visualization, which we did. We also sought to begin composing in D flat 4 1. So we made uh, a D flat 4 1 reference sheet and score and began cadences. The major thing that we did with, uh, and we really need to set this up here. This is our modified uh, 2772 diagram. Basically what shows in orange is the changed areas. <clears throat> we shortened things up a bit. <clears throat> and we do have a diagram here somewhere to show you, energy diagram. Here. This is the new energy diagram, and it looks a lot neater to us. We're using three lines per uh, part, and there's six parts, so it comes out nice and even, and the energy works out really well. So let's show you what we did with that. Like we said, we made a music visualization out of it. We won't play the whole thing, but we'll play part of it, and this will be posted. The neat thing about this is the left hand wavy lines are the waveform of the of the music and the vertical wavy lines are the frequency spectrum or the timbre and so the right hand side is the uh, one of these is the cadences and one of these is the uh, melody backbone one or the other so they're different if you watch you'll notice the star colors are not the same blue they're not the same so this really was a cool video and like we said we're going to post that on um, on the channel so you can see that the other thing that we spent time on to really launch us into the next part is in our scales area Here, we added a whole reference for the D flat 1441 tritonic parallel. And where that came from is this was what we called our bright scale, D flat, F, G flat, which is a three note scale. And we realized that this could be turned into a minor major. The D flat 4 1 is the major chord, and a D flat with a D and a G flat make a, a minor chord. And so we made a reference area to go with that in the score and we'll play this last part for you we'll play this first so you can hear what the reference area sounds like and then we get extra chords if you remember d flat 4 1 only has one chord here it is d flat 4 1 but by adding the d flat 1 4 we get a d flat 1 4 chord and by smushing these three note scales together we get four notes and we get two more chords in the full tonality here let's play the chords and it's hard to hear the difference and it's there for example okay that was not what we wanted to do Here we go. That chord is this duh, duh, versus this one, which is 
So, we'll play what we've come up with in terms of cadences and backbones, and then we'll talk about next steps. So, that concludes today's stream. What are we going to do next? I hear you asking. Well, so we need to post the, uh, the 2772 uh, music visualization. So those of you who want to see it, it will be there. And then continue with the D flat 1441 cadences, backbones, bump, bump, bump. And then as our, our usual friend, to be determined. So thank you, as always, for your time and attention, and we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>